hello good morning it is sunday morning for us right now and we are closing out our time in San Tropez and we are heading north to Lyon. So we thought it would be really fun to show you guys what a normal travel day looks like. And this is a little abnormal because today is going to be way more intense in the sense of like we're taking multiple buses and trains to get to our final destination because San Tropez, if you didn't know, doesn't have a train into it. So in order to get out, it's we're basically backtracking. So Brennan has it all mapped out. We're just going to show you what today is gonna look like, big travel day, and yeah. We'll take you through it, it's gonna be fun. First stop, bus. First of three. Got this. We got an hour and 20 minutes. We're going back towards the hotel that we were staying at a few days ago. And then we're going up. Whoa. We're going up. Over here, train station. I would take off at 316, the Sarge's. Les Arcs. There's no eight. Les Arcs. Les Arcs. Fourth and final. We made it after bus, train, taxi. All was good. We made it before sundown. We are in Lyon and we are gonna walk to find dinner. We're staying in a really cool part of town actually. Like as we kept getting closer to the Airbnb, it kept getting nicer. But wait till we show you guys the Airbnb building. I have it's an adventure never to get in. seen something more sketchy. Look at but this. the apartment is amazing. What do you think so far? It's so beautiful. Every corner we turn, I believe it's like a really just like quiet alley. It has a cute restaurant somewhere on it. And it's still got that like old feel to it, old charm. Like look at where we're about to walk up to. So many people bustling. It's a Sunday, right? Yeah. Okay, we've got traditional lentil salad. Brennan got pate, like a crust. I think that these are both very traditional Lyon cuisine. Let's go. Okay, course two. This is some sort of fish, and then chicken and veggies. This tastes like some sort of lobster bisque, kind of. And then this is like puffy. Reminds me of like a puff pastry. Ooh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Plus you. Okay, the last of our courses. This is a praline pie, allegedly, and that is chocolate mousse, allegedly. <laughs> but Maybe they ran out. Neither of them look like their name, so we shall see. Well, well, last time was incredible. Yeah, we walked around our little neighborhood, which happens to be in such a good part of town, which we mentioned, and it's really beautiful. The buildings are insane. There's two rivers running through Lyon. The food scene is insane. It's the gastronomic capital of the world. So today is gonna to be super fun. There's massive stairs. So, so we, we got a workout. We're challenging ourselves to hit one of the stairs. Come back, and then we got a nice little Airbnb to work in, and enjoy the day. You guys are gonna die though when I show you the outside of the Airbnb or the inside of the building. All right, we're gonna go work out. Okay, so this is our door. The stairs, not too bad, okay? That's gonna be a rooftop. Oh, the other thing is the key is really difficult to figure out. I have no idea how it works. I just keep turning it until it does. Um, then we have what looks like the scariest storage unit you've ever seen with no walls. Don't know who's gonna steal it. And what I thought was honestly wet concrete. And then look how scary it's a corridor you have to walk through. It's. <laughs> oh. But at least we have these really nice sensor lights. World class Airbnb. Are there? It's 
count them. But we'll see at the top. We'll see how long this lasts. Two hundred thirty-five. That was two hundred thirty-five. All right, ten more times. Let's go. Right. I think will break after that. It's kind of nice little part. I haven't seen an Eiffel Tower, but I was gonna say it doesn't even compare to the pictures of the Eiffel Tower. It's like a mini golf version. Probably the best mini golf version of the Eiffel Tower I've ever seen. Yeah. for a bank and uh, it's a national holiday. There's Ashley, we're waiting for coffee. Oh, After an entire day of diligent working, we went to reward ourselves for dinner and opened the front door and realized it's raining again. We have just really our neighbors outside. <laughs> Ciao, ciao. I mean, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> bonjour, monsieur. Well, I think we're going next door. Let's look at the door. Yeah, there's a restaurant right next door. Do we want to go in? Otherwise, that does not sound fun to go outside right now. Honestly, I just have to say, I had no idea. The guy across the street is still watching us. He can see me right here, too. Everywhere I go, he could see it. I had no idea that summer rain was such a thing in Europe, but it is. So. Just plan plan for that in your travels if you're going in May or June. La cuisine. It's a French cuisine. How appropriate. We're in France. How many dollar signs is it? Four. Oh, they're all four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they're all four dollar signs. But tapas a la France. Oh, I actually I did want tapas. Does it have the menu on there? You guys, today a very big thing happened. We booked our Paris Airbnb. And I've been hunting for a Paris Airbnb for what feels like months because it feels the most important to me because Paris is my favorite place in the world. So I had very high expectations and very low budget parameters. And I decided to open up the budget a bit because I just wasn't finding anything that was fitting my Paris dreams. And today I found one kind of unexpectedly and it was available for two weeks during the two weeks we needed it. And that's been not the case. I thought we were gonna have to jump around, which I've been so annoyed with. And it's been making work kind of difficult because packages can't be shipped places when we're only there for a few days. So we booked it and it's dreamy. It's by the Eiffel Tower. You can see the Eiffel Tower from the balcony. And we'll be there for two full weeks. So we'll be able to like actually unpack our suitcases and hang our clothes, which we haven't been doing anywhere because we've only been places for a few days. So looking forward to that. We're also heading out tomorrow, as you know, I think we've mentioned to like a little farm stay type thing we've been calling it. It's just like a countryside back house at this beautiful mansion. It looks like it's gonna be dreamy and we're treating it as like a, a retreat. And we're gonna grind and work and just take it low key for the next week. And then we're on to Paris, so it's exciting. What have you found out so far? Uh, we need to know how to read French. Oh, they, for the menu? Yeah. Oh, that's their Instagram? More case in point for why we need to take language classes. I need to get on my Duolingo shiz. Hold on, what did you say? I said I would like a beer. Wait, it's too loud. What'd you say? I said I would like a beer. 
a beer sounds nice right now. Oh, that's nice. Let's go find one. Uh, yeah, update, it stopped raining and I tried <laughs> to make pasta, but the freaking stove top plug-in thing, hot tool, wouldn't work. <laughs> it was locked and words. I couldn't get it unlocked. So, you know, here we So are. now we're off. Cheers. That was loud. Last morning in Leon. Hit some stairs, get the legs moving. Got some eye patches going. Oh, she got the eye patches going. Fresh face. Tuesday after a holiday, the kids are out. The town is bustling. Yesterday we were like, it's such a, it's such a quiet town. But we also tried to go to multiple banks to exchange our money. All closed. We were getting very frustrated. Remembered it was a holiday. So today we start again. Stairs, go back to the banks, and Ash is gonna find us a coffee shop. Yeah, we're going to Arctic Juice, which is the same owner as yesterday's. Looks really cute. We walked by it, not even knowing it was the same owner. All right, we're fine. Ashley almost got hit by a van. We have it on the long camera. We're just gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that was the safest. To run across that was the, the safest option. And then you fought back. I don't know if you were saying you're going. Here goes nothing. 700 plus stairs. We did it. We dodged a van. All the school kids. but this was our Airbnb in Lyon. I was really captivated by this situation right here, herringbone wood floors. We've got the light streaming in, the large windows, and this kitchen is super modern and newly updated and really beautiful. Inside is really amazing, and the outside is just really, really psychotic, but you win some and you lose some, you know? It's not the best, not the worst. Let's do it. On to our next stop. It's our first kind of metro experience. It's cool because you're going to see the reflection. Nice train station. <laughs> Super easy. We just got off the metro from downstairs. We walked upstairs. Trains are here. You have the access to the street or to the train station. You can get your tickets here if you need to. Also worth noting, you can just tap in, just like the New York subways. If you're taking the metro, you don't need a ticket. You can just tap your credit card. It has to be a visa though. They're very picky about it. Allons-y. Uh, it's not ADA approved. There's no lift. This is what we call European CrossFit. <laughs>
at the train station, you come here. Look who's here to save the day, as he always does. What you got? A couple of buds. Really? Yeah, at a bar and a restaurant. <laughs> I was gonna call you down there, but you should have went up there first. You think I would have got all this down by myself? Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> That's quite a Thanks. Wow. Cheers. Only at the train station in Could Europe. not get a beer. Could, went down for water. Asked get any snacks? Go, and he hit, filled up like half. This is the snack. It's good though. It's pretty refreshing. Isn't it good? Sitting here in the sun. To go? I said beer to go. He said this side. I was like bigger. So I can give you two. Yes, please. Yeah. Let's see both food. And he's back with the snacks. What'd you get? What'd you get? <gasps> oh my gosh. I could kiss you right now. I think, yes, I, I, think I will. And there's a chocolate croissant. Oh, pun. Oh, chocolate. Oh my god. I'm so happy I married you. <laughs> oh, snacking. Oh, oh. Oh, that just looks good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a street that we're no, living on. No, it's like the little part of town that we're in, or that we're staying. Outside in. of Rouen? Yeah, Rouen is where we stopped. Rouen. Uh, now we have to find a car rental place because yeah. we figured that it's the easiest because there's no taxis or buses, yeah. and it's a 30-minute uh, walk. It's only a six-minute drive, so it's close to town, but we want to be able to come back and forth to get like groceries and stuff. So. So we just decided right now to, to rent a car. Are you surprised? So we're gonna uh, walk around town and let's see if we can find one. Parlez-vous anglais? So in very broken French and English, they basically said you can't rent a car from us and we can't call you a taxi for some reason. Like maybe there isn't a taxi. And the other car, the Hertz rental car place is a seven minute drive from here. Ooh. And the, I know, I'm scared. <laughs> but our, our Airbnb is a 20 minute walk, or a four minute drive. So basically, we're gonna go to our Airbnb, drop our stuff, walk there. Two minute walk. You said 10. To it's our Airbnb. Nine miles. Well, he doesn't know. <laughs> so we're, gonna walk. we're just gonna walk check in with our Airbnb people, maybe they can help us, whatever. And then we'll just walk, yeah, we'll walk or run back with no luggage to a rental place. Figure it out from there. Blah, blah. suitcases in this small town there's probably at least 200 cars that drove by us on this busy road huh gawking i saw a couple dudes break their neck hey look at this beautiful mermaid out of her element sweating in this countryside abode oh. but they do have a gate and a nice little entrance so we'll oh, see We've made it to the French countryside. It's insane. It, this view right now that we're looking at is insane. It, videos don't do it justice, but it's so nice to be away from the city and uh, just a change of pace. Yeah, it's beautiful here. 
we are staying at the cutest Airbnb ever. It's almost like a pseudo semi bed and breakfast, but not, but without the breakfast. Yeah, but the hosts are so nice. We talked to them. They're awesome. The woman is from Australia and the husband's from here and they have a cute dog. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, they're super nice. Gave us bikes, willing to give us rides anywhere we want. Bunch of recommendations. Yeah. Just getting taken care of. Yeah, we'll link in the description because it's so good. Amazing. Three. Whoa. I got that one this time. Oh, you did? Yeah. My arm's about to break. <laughs> Four. Oh. Motivated by exposure. Five. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh. Abort mission. <laughs> what happened there? I'm not as lower as I once was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are always at battle together. They're always in opposition to one another. So it's about choosing to love versus choosing to be selfish. And how in a relationship you're always making that choice every day. Um, but the dare is to buy someone something that makes you think of them. So you can't exactly do the dare. But yeah, buy you espresso. There's not much around to buy. <laughs> I'm a desolate part of town. This one got me because it said, When a husband puts his interests, desires, and priorities ahead of his wife, he is flying the flag of his own selfishness. When a wife constantly complains about the time and energy she spends, meeting the needs of her husband, she's revealing her selfishness. Moodiness and complaining are selfish in disguise. Laziness and irresponsibility are other masks it wears. Boasting and bragging, being easily angered, talking too much, never listening. The list goes on. I definitely feel like I so many things. I know. I feel like I've never thought about like moodiness being selfish. I feel like that's the thing to remember. Because you feel your feelings. Yeah. And your feelings are get you moody. Yeah. Well, unless your feelings are provoked by your husband. Yeah, it definitely is a nuance. It's a mutual thing. But we'll get moving. Let's do this Well, we started with a really good breakfast with some toast, which we haven't had in a while, avocado toast, really good farm fresh eggs and chicken sausage. Lunch with a caprese inspired salad, which was really good, I thought. Homemade lemon olive oil dressing. And then dinner was tagliatelle pasta with a sauce that I just randomly make, which I'm trying to think of the right word to say, but I like cut up a tomato and like 
pounded it. I made it, oh, what's the word? I like literally used my hands to crush the tomato and do like a tomato sauce that was also kind of chunky. And I sauteed that with olive oil, salt, pepper, already cooked shallots and garlic, and then added shrimp pieces into it. How'd you get those? I had to rip them to pieces by myself. The shrimp? Yeah. They had their heads on and, and all their arms and everything. This is the second time on this trip that I've had to like take apart our food. And it's really, really pushing me to be a vegetarian because I, I feel way too much connection with the animal when I have to take it apart. Mm. Anyway, dinner was really good. And we should probably go to bed. It's 1240. All right, good night. Good night. Hello. Cookies. Cookies? Cookies. Or something sweet. Do the uh, grocery list change in Europe um, compared to America? <laughs> it's a little less health-centered. Yeah, cheese cracker, wine, chips, cookies. Perfect. <laughs> it's the, the chips and the cookies are not ever on the list in America. But, you know, when in Rome or... France. Wrong. Wow, good one. Team. What does that entail? We've got vitamin C moisturizer, CBD moisturizer, sunscreen, do a little bit of gua sha, facial massage, you know, just some work. Some eye cream. SPF is the most important thing. If you do nothing in the morning but put SPF on, that's good enough. down there oh, this is so cool. and explore. Drink it. You and your... <laughs> it's all in milliliters. Fancy. Back on the bikes today. Probably a little uh, 15 mile bike ride. Cruising. We are going to the next town over, I think. We didn't quite make it the other day because of the rain and the weather. So we're gonna try again now that it's a beautiful day. See what it looks like on a Saturday.
communicate, but he's figured out a game. Yeah. <laughs> what you making tonight? We've got tagliatelle with some arrabbiata sauce, which is spicy red sauce, and some ground beef with some garlic and onions. Wow. Looks good. Good? It's good. And we got some fresh Parmesan cheese. Chuck, 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 chuck. Checking out and heading to Paris. So I'm gonna give you guys a recap. This was probably one of the best Airbnb situations we've had so far. It was so nicely decorated. They just, the homeowners just finished it recently. It was great. Loved the kitchen, super open. Bathroom was so cute. And just like all new cute appliances. The bedroom was so dreamy. This was our view. Every morning the birds would wake us up. And then that pool is over there. And that is their pool, obviously. And you have to request on the Airbnb listing if you wanna use it. It's not like included with the Airbnb. So if you do end up coming here, it's something to note. And also this is a cute view of our little chickens over there, which they're in their little area right now. But it was a really, really good Airbnb. Definitely recommend.